What's up, y'all? Today, we are back with another episode of All the Mod 7, and today we are going to be automating our B setup. I just want to give everybody a quick update. I have really been enjoying making these videos, and I see a ton of y'all out here liking, subscribing, throwing comments on the videos. Now, let me tell you, it means the world to me. When I see these comments, like Alfred, these videos are amazing. Alfred, I love this. It, it means the world to me, and it helps me make better videos and continue going on because I get to see what y'all like. And that's ultimately what I'm doing here is making things that you guys like. And I'm kind of also like and playing with bees a little bit, maybe play a little bit of Minecraft, but I'm just glad you guys are liking it. And if you really do like it, I just like to remind y'all that we do have an open public server for all the mod seven. If you guys want to come and join us, our town is growing. We have so many people on the server so far and it runs perfectly smooth, perfectly fine. Uh, shout out to Nodecraft, who is actually sponsoring my Twitch channel. If you don't know, twitch.tv slash AlfredGG. I've been streaming over there, doing some Minecraft, playing some Fall Guys. Uh, just overall hanging out with the community. So if you guys want to come check me out over there, the links are always in the description. I also want to note one last thing and then we'll get it right into it. My family is coming down and they're moving down from, or moving up from Florida rather. And, uh... Yeah, I'm probably going to be a little bit busy. So if next week's video is a little late, don't hate me. Okay, so I want to automate this. Now, it's funny because I actually recorded myself automating this already. And I was like, I don't like the way I set up my automation. So I was like, screw it. We're going to redo it. We're going to first start off by getting away for our system inside of the home base to be set up over here. Now, for those who know about refined storage or maybe even AE2, you probably know about receivers, network stuff like that. Uh, and setting up channels and stuff. So I'm gonna teach you guys if you don't actually know how to do this already. For us to access our home base system over here, we're gonna have to have several different items. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a network transmitter. I'll show you guys the recipe. So you will need some netherite, silicon, iron, all that good stuff, some ender pearls, and then you need a network receiver. This is just the same exact recipe, but actually flipped upside down. So. Yeah, just keep that in mind. So you will also need a network card, which this is very easy to make. You need some paper, some quartz enriched iron, and then an advanced processor. So you will need at least one diamond. And that's it. You can make a crafting grid. I already did. You can make a grid. You can make any kind of thing that pretty much receives or lets you view into your network, just like you did in your normal network. So go ahead and craft these things. It, again, it's a transmitter, receiver, network card, and then some kind of interface like a crafting grid. And then I'm gonna show you how to set all of this up because it's actually really cool. But we're gonna go back. So the first thing you wanna do is find your home base. Wherever, wherever your base is, wherever your initial setup is, that's important. And this is where you're gonna put the transmitter. You wanna make sure that it's linked into the system right here. And then we're gonna head back to wherever we wanna set this up. So we're gonna set this up at the B house and we're gonna come over here. And then we are actually gonna set this up right here. So I'm going to put the network receiver down right here, and then we're going to put the crafting grid right on top of it. And as you see, there's no power. Now, you don't need anything to power this. All you need is to register the network card. So you're going to take the network card. You're going to right click the receiver with it, and you'll see that it's now linked. Man, it is storming something bad. And then now we want to put this network card that we linked into the network transmitter. You see that it is 81 blocks away. Goodness, can I just sleep? Just get rid of the storm? All right, now I can't believe I said goodness, bro. Like what? I cuss all the time and like not in my videos or whatever, but I said goodness to a rainstorm. Like who am I? What the hell? So we're getting back into this. We have our network transmitter. Once we put our card in there, it'll say 81 blocks or the distance between this and the other one. And it is very important because that means it's going to pull more power. The further that you put it away, the more power that it'll pull. I believe that's how it works. I mean, that's what makes sense to me. I haven't actually tested it or looked it up or whatever. Like we could go ahead and do a little science right here and see that now I'm not pulling. I, it costs four FE per tick. Okay, come on. Anyway, so now that we've got that in there, if we go back to the B house, we'll actually see now that this is powered and it has our system in here. It is just pretty much transmitting all the data 
from our initial storage into this one. The cool thing is, is we can actually set up a, a Yo, this game is creepy sometimes, I swear. Anyway, back at it. I can actually put things in the storage just like I would be doing if this was my main storage, which is really cool. So we can do all of the things that refined storage offers over here and it'll still link to our main storage. Guys, these bees have actually been going crazy. Uh, they have been filling this up. I actually need to get me some more. Look at all these combs here. But I wanna set this up before we end up getting into uh, getting more bees because we need to have some way to process them because it wouldn't make any sense if that was the case I also have this over here for all of my storage for like the bee cages and stuff like that for the extra bees that we get So keep that in mind You do want to have a storage because these things stack up what we're going to do is to me Honestly, I think is the best way to set this up. I did this on my multiplayer server What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna make a bunch of storage drawers now You've probably used storage drawers before but if we go over here to storage you're gonna gonna see that there are no drawers here okay we this is functional storage is what it's called now uh and i said you'll see no drawers there's drawers it's it stores drawers but it's just they changed the name of it uh it's actually a separate mod it's basically just somebody was like man i want to make it more functional so they added it we're going to need a bunch of these oak drawers so let's go over here and let's just go ahead and make of the a bunch of these things all it takes is a bunch of chest i mean we have we can go ahead and just make 64 real quick. It's not that big of a deal. And we're just gonna go ahead and make uh, 64 of them. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? And then from here, we're going to make ourselves a storage controller, which it should be in here somewhere. Oh, it's cause I have drawers selected. We're gonna need a controller here. So what we're gonna need, let's make ourselves one of these storage controllers. And then we're going to need a linking tool, which it does, or it does take a drawer to make this, we're going to need one of these. And we're also going to need another kind of tool. So I'm just going to type in tool so it'll pop up here. We're going to need a configuration tool. Now, this is actually important because if you look right there, you see how it says locking. We actually need something to lock the drawers. And I'll explain that as we get a little bit further. So what I want to do is I want to get a way to automate this to where it takes all of my stuff from my beehives and puts them into drawers our drawers in general for it to uh, pull from so we can automate this. And it's actually really cool how we can set this up. I'm gonna just set up something simple. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and what we could do is we could put a couple of drawers here and then we could do the same thing over here. Now, depending on how many bees and the different kinds of combs that you have, this might work. There's three different kinds of combs in here. So we might wanna put four. I don't know what that crystalline bee is doing, but I'm going to put these there and uh, now he's kind of frozen. What does he want? The drawer controller is actually pretty crazy because you can link these things from afar. So if we go and we grab that linking tool and I make sure that I right click here so the controller is now being configured, I can come in here and I can right click as long as I have it set to add. We can add these controllers or add these uh, drawers into the controller and do the same thing over here. What we're going to do is we're gonna take these powdery combs and these honeycombs. I might have a specific one for the honeycombs, but I'm gonna go ahead and take out my configuration tool. I'm gonna put the powdery combs in here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to lock it. See that little lock up top right there? That pretty much says that as long as, you know, even if you pull everything out of this drawer, it will still be locked and it won't change what the powdery comb is or it won't change what's in the drawer. If you don't lock them, and let's say you have a setup that pulls everything from the, like the combs and stuff from it and it automatically gets sorted out and filtered, then this drawer will change to something else. It might accept honey bottles. It might accept whatever other combs that you have in there. So that's kind of important to keep in mind. Now, we only have creebies in here, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not really worried about the honey bottles because they don't really put honey bottles in there much. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna make sure, well, let's grab our gold combs out and our crystalline combs. And we're gonna put the gold comb here and the crystalline comb here. So for modded stuff, for functional storage, you won't see a picture like you will see that one. Uh, if it's like an added bead to the pack, which these two are added to the pack, you're not gonna see a picture and that's okay. Since these are configured to the storage controller, we can actually, just to show you how this works, we can actually pull this out or 
If I have, see these honeycombs right here? Let me go and grab all of these things out real quick. Gold comb, crystalline comb, all of these gold and honeycombs, all of this. Watch closely. We look at all of these things in my uh, my inventory, all these combs, all these different things. If I just double right click, it will put everything that it has a drawer for into the drawers. So all of it instantly went to where I pulled it. Except for the, the honeycombs didn't go right here. It actually went into the other honeycomb. And that's okay. So it all just emptied out into these, which is important because you probably realize now we can also pull everything out of this storage controller just as we put in. So we have wireless item transfers from these drawers over here to the controller, as long as they're linked. So you do have to have the linking tool and that's kind of important. So now we have to figure out some way to automate this to where it automatically pulls out, goes into our system and then pulls back in to here. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. I think probably the best way to do this is to go left here. We're going to need a powered centrifuge and that's what you're going to need to process the honeycombs and stuff. And then you're going to need a bottler. And this pretty much takes any of the honey or any honey in general, like liquid honey, and you stick bottles into it and it will produce uh, honey bottles. It also is used for capturing bees or squishing bees and uh, bottling bees and getting genes. But we're not gonna do that for a good long while. How we're gonna do this. First off, we will need an item pipe from here. So that's gotta happen. And then what we could do is we could put the powered centrifuge right here and the bottler on top. So anything that's in here should transfer into here. And we can double check that. We will need some kind of power. So I'm gonna stick the point right here. This is my wireless network. Make sure it's connected. And then we should get some power in here, which we do. And just to test it, let's go over here. Okay, let's go over here and let's grab out one of these gold combs. And if you don't know how to use these, if you shift left click, gives you a stack. If you left click, it gives you a single. And uh, we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna put this gold comb in here. And as we see, we're getting power and it should produce some kind of honey here. And it did, and it went straight up. So from here, we can put empty bottles. And when it gets enough, it will automatically produce us some honey bottles. We wanna take the stuff that comes into this centrifuge and put it into our storage. Matter of fact, we could probably just move this over here and then have it output. Like, I don't mind that being right there, but we could just do this. And uh, let me go ahead and set that up. So it is important that you will need to pull things out, okay? It is important. You can't actually pull, you could do from the item pipe, but we can also just use an importer directly from here and tell it what to import or just tell it to import everything, which also works. So we're just gonna go ahead and make that. I don't think I actually have an importer. Now that we have the importer, we can just shift click it here and it will pull anything that's in here into our system which is great. Now, before I say that I wanna pull everything out of this, I actually want to specify exactly which ones that I wanna pull out. I actually don't wanna pull out any of these honeycombs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of each of these types of combs real fast, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a pipe upgrade that allows me to filter. So you will need, if we go to pipes here, so PIP right here, if we go here, you will need at least an advanced pipe upgrade. So let's go ahead and check out if we can make one of those. This is our normal pipe upgrade, which will go to the improved pipe upgrade, which will move into the advanced one, which we just need blocks of redstone. Looks like we need some more redstone before we do any of that. So let's go grab some real quick. Now that I've got enough redstone, we can put some of this stuff up, but let's go ahead and make, like I said, that advanced pipe upgrade here. So just like this. The reason why you need an advanced one is because the other ones don't actually let you, like tell you, uh, or let you have a filter and everything. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna put the advanced pipe upgrade up here, and then we're going to add the combs in that we want to pull from here. So that way it doesn't just pull everything. So you just click add, you put in the crystalline comb or whatever comb, it will actually read the MBT our data, which is actually very important. And then you click okay. So we're just gonna make sure that we have the three that we want to in here. And then we see that it's already pulling honeycomb. We don't want honeycombs in there. So we're gonna make sure the honeycombs don't go in there but it should pull a good amount of items at a time. Look, we've got 59 here and it'll create wax or it'll create the item. See, we've already got some honey bottles being made. And this is a simple way to automate 
whatever it is that you want to do with bees. It's just something super simple. As you get more bees and the things that you get, you will probably need some kind of speed. So you will need speed upgrades. So if we go to at productive bees, there is a speed upgrade that we can make. You will need some honey combs. So if you have like the blocks, you will need some clocks. So you need redstone and gold and you will need upgrade bases to do this. Sweet, we got all four of the things that we needed. And now I could just plop these suckers in here and it will speed it up a bunch. So there could be a potential drag here from the importer. These are upgrade slots right here. And that's kind of important too. So if we go over here to refined storage, just type in refined and we type in speed, we can also upgrade this with a speed upgrade. And this will speed it up a little bit if we put it in the right thing. So now it should pull a little bit faster. Something important here to note, wax adds up very fast. So keep that in mind. So you could do like I do where I just make a bunch of wax blocks. I need some way of pulling this out or pulling out in general so that it just deletes the wax. We could do that very pretty, pretty easy. Honestly, we need an exporter and we need something like a trash can, but we're going to go ahead and make a trash can just because it's easy. And it's very dangerous to do this if you don't set this up properly, because you do have to set this up before you do any of that. So let's go ahead and make an exporter. Okay. So to do this properly and to not mess up, it's, it's going to take a second. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ancient stone that I mined out here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it here and I'm going to act like this is where we're going to export from. I'm going to go ahead and take out some of that wax here and I'm going to put it into the exporter. Just going to go ahead and make sure that we just have it exporting wax and that's it. It's already set to whitelist, so we don't have to worry about it. And then now I can break this and then I can put that trash can down. If you don't set this up properly, your system will export literally everything instead of just the wax. If you were to put the trash can down and then put the exporter, it might delete some of your items. So make sure that you just put the exporter down first, put the wax in there, and then wherever you're planning on voiding. You could do a storage chest like this, an oak drawer. You could do one of these and put something called a void upgrade inside of it. There's a void upgrade specifically for uh, storage drawers or functional drawers. Um, and that works too. That's what I did on my server, but the trash can is pretty simple. We can actually set this to a whitelist and make sure that it only deletes wax, which is also uh, another extra step that you can do. And then if we come in here and look, we can see that it's slowly pulling out and we could just go ahead and make all these back into wax because it's just going to delete it all anyway. So now we have everything pretty much automated. And it looks like everything was already pulled. So I was wrong. We don't have everything automated because we actually have to have a way for this to output into these chests so that way they don't overflow. It's actually very easy for us to do that. And now we're going to need a bunch of item pipes. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of them and let's set this up. I'm going to clean up my inventory just a little bit, putting some stuff up here and there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig underneath because I think that's the smartest. This is the only problem while you're doing this is because bees. Oh no. Oh, that gold bee just flew in there. Oh, get, get over here. Get, get, what are y'all doing? Okay. So here are our advanced oak beehives. We want to get an item pipe on all of these and we're going to have to make a little room and we're going to take our pipe upgrade here and we're going to make sure that these are all set to pull and we're going to pull these out just like this, since they're all connected right there. We're going to go back this way. This is our crystalline comb and our gold comb. So we'll put those in there just like this and then connect them. And then we're going to go back this way until we get to, Oh, I messed up. We want to stop right here and make sure that this is connected right here like this. And then we're going to come over here and make sure this is connected. We want to pull from here and then we'll drag it down and have it come out. And then we're going to get out. We're going to tidy this place back up. And now everything should be automated. This will automatically empty out to go over here into these storage drawers or drawers in general. And the same thing will happen over here. They will pull out here 
and uh, the crystalline comb and gold combs will fill up as they get them inside of their or their little beehives. We can go ahead and pull all this stuff out. And pretty much everything is automated at this point. And going straight over here to the controller, being pulled out to be processed here, as we see. And then it goes straight into our system. And for us to see how this works and to see if it's working, we already see that we have some gold dust in here. If we go and take a look at honeycomb, we see we have some honeycombs in here and it's working. It's working like it should. And I think that is actually a good stopping point for our episode. Next episode, we will be getting some more bee breeding done and getting the elusive, not really elusive, just really annoying to get iron bee. Trust me, it's really annoying to get. I'm going to be honest with you. We'll be getting more bees, adding to our collection, automating it all, and then working towards our infinite uranium we can make a bigger reactor like bigger than the one we already have anyway thank you guys so much for watching and again if you do like this episode make sure to like subscribe every time i read those comments y'all tell me about your adventures tell me about your all the mod 7 adventure what you're going through what quest you might want to see thank you guys so much for watching and until next episode boop, boop, ah!